Okay, we've been fishing the Cheech Leech for about five years now, and it's about time it gets a big brother. So this summer, uh, we've been messing around with some really big stuff. And uh, so I wanted a Cheech Leech themed fly, but with three different sections. Um, so I'm going to do this fly with all three hooks in it. And just a, a disclaimer here, when I fish this bug, I usually cut out the middle hook. Uh, so I'll tie it in. When I'm ready to fish it, I'll just cut it off with some big uh, wire cutters or something like that. But it's completely up to you. Anyway, let's start off with a, an, an Allen S402 number 4 and uh, UTC Ultra Thread 140 in brown. And just like the other Cheech Leech that we did, uh, the, the tail, the body... Uh, everything's made out of Arizona Mega, Mega Semi Seal. And so I'm using the brown color on this one. And so I'm just going to pull it out. You can see that I've cut the corner off the bag um, so that I can just pull the dubbing out of the bag. So I've got a healthy clump of it, and I'm just going to tie it on the back of the fly. Once I've got that tied in, usually if I take my fingers and pull like this, I'll get some of the fibers that I didn't quite trap and I'll trap those back down. Okay, now on this one, I've been using Flashaboo a lot. I really like the, the look of it, but I'm going to take Copper Flashaboo, about three or four strands of it, and I'm going to tie four strands on the far side of the hook and then four strands on the near side of the hook. Just like that. And I'll trim. Now I'm going to take some uh, root beer Palmer chenille in medium size, tie that into the back of the fly. And now I'm going to make a dubbing loop of, of the semi seal, just like the back half of the Cheech Leech, it's exactly the same, but make a dubbing loop of semi seal and then wrap the, the Palmer chenille through it. And this is where a rotary vise really comes in handy. Okay, now I'm going to take three or four more strands of Flashaboo and I'm going to tie those in at the head of the fly and pull them back over the whole body of the fly. Alright, now we're just going to take some Velcro and really brush this out. And then uh, whenever I'm doing a big fly that, that takes a lot of effort like this, I always make sure I, I tag the heads with a little bit of hydro. Or a lot in that case. On to the next section. We're going to dress our hook with thread again. Okay, I've got the second hook ready. The first thing I'm going to do is dress the hook um, and attach the bead lawn. Um, so I'm just going to make the bead lawn extend past the hook point so I can fold it over on top of it. Now as I get to here, I'm going to wrap a little bit further back past the bend a little bit. It'll make the the fly or the, the back half hang off a little bit more naturally. Um, and with this back portion, I'm only going to put one bead between the two back hooks. So I'm going to put a bead there, thread the fly, back up through the bead. And I can adjust it like that. So I want there to be a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much. Okay, I've trimmed those pieces of bead lawn. Now I'm going to fold them back. And one thing that I've learned is the tips of these are really sharp. So make sure that you don't have a lot of thread tension when you go over the top of them or else you'll cut your thread. And 
and I'm going to tag it with a little bit of thin super glue. So if you've got a, just a, a piece of brown marabou, you can use you know basically any shade of brown on these. When I reference colors on this fly, I'm just going to say brown, yellow, orange for the marabou because there's so many different variations. But I'm essentially going to take this feather and pull off a little bit of the fluff from the bottom to make a tail on this. So tie in one clump right here. It doesn't matter, you can leave all that junk on it. It'll just get covered up. And tie in another clump right on top of it. Tie that all down, and then we're going to make another body just like the back half of the hook. Okay, as you'll see, I left quite a bit of room on this next hook because I'm actually going to wrap a soft hackle out of marabou, just one piece of marabou, uh, right at the front of this one. So I'm going to take my piece of marabou by the tips, fold them down to find a nice tie-in point. Got marabou going all over the place. Just like the previous cheech leech. I'm actually going to push that back a little bit, but I'll just build a head right here. Okay, for the front hook, I've chosen a, a wider gape hook because we're going to have some pretty big barbell eyes on this. This is a Allen B200 in size four or uh, size six, actually. Okay, so once I have the eyes tied in, I'm going to turn those to the underside of the hook because I want it to ride hook point down. If you wanted to tie the fly so it rode upside down you could do that as well I just prefer it this way and I'm gonna super glue the eyes alright the next step is just to attach a piece of bead lawn just like on the first one on the last hook we did wrap it up to the barbell eyes and then all the way back a little bit down the bend of the hook okay I'm gonna take a black bead and an orange bead this time Just like that, and then I'm going to take the other, the rest of the fly that I tied, and I'm going to thread that through. Okay, so we're ready to start building the front hook. And again, I'm going to put a tail on the, the front hook with the same color brown marabou. Um, now, if you wanted, you could use you could stack some orange and yellow in right here as well. Uh, but I've chosen to keep it pretty simple and just use brown for now. I'm going to put three clumps of marabou on this one. I'm just going to wrap all those tips forward. Okay. 
Now instead of wrapping Palmer chenille through this one, I'm actually going to take a piece of orange schloppen and create the the body out of schloppen and semen. So I'm going to tie the schloppen in tip first. Then we'll build another body of semi seal or mega semi seal. You want to leave yourself plenty of room because you're going to wrap three marabou fibers right behind those barbell eyes. Okay, now we're just going to take this slopping and wrap it forward. And I always take two or three extra turns right at the front of the body just to kind of give it a little bit more bulk. Okay, again, it's pretty messy right now, but we'll brush it all out. Alright, as you can see, we brushed the semi-seal and the schlopping all out together. Now we're ready to lay some marabou on this. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of orange, tie that in tip first, just like we did on the, our last piece of marabou we, we palmered with. Take a piece of yellow, tie it in the same way, and a piece of brown. Now, I've kind of cheated on this one, on the cheech leech, on this double wide cheech leech, because I'm going to wrap the collar, but then I'm going to add two more clumps of brown marabou to kind of tone down the really bright colors. Because the, the orange and the yellow tend to drown out the brown. And I want it to be more brown than yellow and orange. Okay, I'm going to take all three of those and just wrap them at the same time. And again, it will be really messy until the very end. I'm just going to try to shove as many wraps as humanly possible behind those barbell eyes. I think that's about as far as I'm going to get. And I'm going to wiggle my thread as I wrap this around. Just one wrap to tie those off and then I'll come in front of those feathers and give it two real tight wraps so it won't slip on me. Then I'm going to go in and find those stems with my scissors. Next thing we're going to do is attach some rubber legs, some silly legs, and you can really use any color you want that matches up. I just have some pumpkin perfectly barred silly legs. Tie them in so they're you know, equally as equally long on both sides. Okay, one of the one of the little fly hacks that we came up with on a, a visit to the craft store, actually this one was Home Depot, was using gear ties. These gear ties are just basically little flexible uh, pieces of plastic that hold, they're designed to hold cords in place. But you see I have marabou going every which way and these rubber legs are going to get in the way and I'm going to do a, a dubbing loop in the front of this fly. So I'm just going to take all my materials and take this and just wrap it around that fly. And it's going to keep everything out of the way, just like that. Anyway, for big streamers and stuff like that, it's a very cool little fly hack, as we call them, that you can use. Okay, to finish off the fly, I'm just going to make another dubbing loop of meg brown mega semi seal. Hopefully by the end, this fly will look somewhat presentable. So as I build this dubbing loop, I'm going to want to keep it somewhat sparse closest to the barbell eye because I want to put 
two to three full turns of this dubbing loop behind the barbell eyes before I wrap up through. All right, so we've got our dubbing loop made, and before I start wrapping this, I'm actually going to pick this one out just a little bit. So I'm going to try to as, try to trap as few fibers as I can as I wrap this. Okay. Now we use the rotary function of the vise to do the first three wraps, essentially. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across and under this eye and back up and then the same thing, I'm going to cross over and go under the other eye really tight and then come forward on, on my, on my uh, hook and tie off and that should really make a real thick head around those eyes. take off our gear tie. Now everything's ready to get brushed out. Okay, so you see that the, the head brushed out really well. Um, there's a a lot of marabou in this fly and so one thing that we notice as we fish it is it swims really really well there's a lot of movement on this fly and so um, mess with the colors I mean as you know the cheech leech the colors are, are endless so anyway this is what we're calling the double wide cheech leech and hopefully in the near future we'll have it in the store for you <laughs>